Good morning, Detector Rats. Park Rat Pat, right here. And uh, I'm out at a new location today. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the place real quick. Okay, here we are at the new location. 4.3 acres, mostly mowed down, some areas up around these trees here, and just beyond those trees is another little section of the property that's mowed. I think there's an area right around there to cut through. Either way, I can see uh, an old water doohickey up there. And just lots of open space. I've looked at this on the map and I ain't brainful enough to tell what's been here before. So let's just get out there and search and see what we find. I'll catch you with the first hole. Alright, I'm close to the truck. The signals are starting out good. I got a piece of smashed lead. And down here, I got a signal was saying it's a dime and I do believe it is. Dime or a penny here, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a penny. And, uh, all right, near as I can tell, it's a memorial. Let's take a look at the year on it. See what we come up with here. Uh, 79. Very nice. All right. First coins of copper. I cannot complain about that. All right. Nice little chunk of brass in the next hole. Good scrap value there. Stick that one in the pouch. All right, everybody, this one's uh, very interesting. It wasn't but an inch and a half deep down here, ringing up between penny and dime. And I pulled this. Look at that. I hope you can see the detail. This is a memorial penny that has been shot. I think the date on there... And I looked at it earlier, it was 1979, so just the same year as that first penny I found. Yep. With a bullet hole in it. That is amazing. Alright, this is going to be a killer day, I can feel it. Let me keep swinging. Alright, I just got the tab from some sort of electrical connector. You can see the wire still pinched in there. Alright. Still working a small area here. Lots of land to cover. I think I'm going to uh, go that way. Yeah. All right. As you can see, still very close to the truck here. Boom. 1976. Yeah. Bicentennial Memorial. Best kind to get. All right. In the pouch. On with the hunt. Oh, all right. All right. Park Rat snags him his first zinc of the day. This one's a 1994 model. Sweet stuff. Save that before it's too late. All right. Got to keep plugging on. I'll see you at the next one. All right. Well, it's definitely no half dollar, but look at that. Now, it's super rusty, super thin, all jagged at the edge. There's a long history on this property. For, for a washer this size to get into this condition. This place has been sitting untouched for a long time. Maybe I'm the first one to swing it. Who knows? But uh, I'm going to keep swinging. I'll catch you at the next good target. <laughs> a lot of silence here for the last little bit. Just got this look a little knurled on the edge screw head. Don't know what kind it was from, but hey, thumb nut in the pouch. All right. Hot, hot, hot. Lots of dry, rocky soil in this area. But I managed to squeeze out this nice piece of lead right here. So I'm happy, happy now. All right. I'm going to head up to that shady little spot and take a break. Then get back to it. All right. Haven't made it to the shade yet. Just a few inches away from that lead weight. I got a quarter signal. Flips out. Look like I do have a coin here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. In the light, 
Okay, I do believe this is going to be a more modern quarter. Either way, 25 cents in the pouch I didn't have before. All right, throw that one in the bag. Got to keep trying to find that shade. Okay, right there, less than an inch down. Park rat pulls a dime. Let's see if we can spot the year here. Uh, not likely. That's going to be a hard one, but hey, another coin in the pouch. Park rat ain't complaining about that one. All right. On we go with this beautiful hunt. Okay, I have almost made it to the shade. I want to do this sandy area here before heading over to that big tree there. Got, a, got another great signal down here. I looked at this one already. That's a 2,000 dime. Nice. Pulling some good clad today for a big open lot. That is amazing. Okay, I am back at it again. Welcome back. Down here about four and a half, five inches. Get on a zinc. I'm right at the edge of this little sandy pit here. I'm going to do this really well. See what kind of goodies are in this area. Alright, this sand pit has been quiet up until now. I just got a nice signal down there about seven and a half inches. Pulled out a zinc. Very cool. There's definitely been life here. Hopefully they lost a few relics. Alrighty everybody, I'm still swinging along. I'm out in a big grassy field area here. I was over at that section over there with all the sandiness. And now out here in the grass, I'm getting a lot of nothing. Then I pull up this. Can you see that? It says prom girl. Don't know what it's about. It says the same thing on both sides. Any idea what this might be from or for? Let me know down in the comments. I sure would like to know. Alrighty, still swinging my way toward that shade tree over there. Whew, and then I might pause for a soda fizz. I had a really odd signal down here. When I flipped out right in this area here, you can see it looks so flat, was this. Some type of piece of plastic. And judging from that pattern on it, I'd say this was from the bottom of a kid's pool. It's exactly what that looks like to me. The bottom of one of those plastic kids pools. And down in the hole, I did pull this big old copper fitting. Threaded on one end. So some type of reducer coupling. But uh, I'll throw that one in the pouch. It's kind of heavy. I don't care. It's copper. <laughs> I'm going to turn that into cash. All right. Park Rat is back on the coinage. Got us another, I believe it's a zinker here. Uh, that was down about six inches or so down in that hole closer to the tree then going to explore this area now the grass up there is kind of high but according to the aerial map and the way the land looks there could have been a house over there so i'm going to check it out all right i'm moving up into this area with the trees and the somewhat high grass to where i think the home site used to be it's got a weird signal down there and pulled this sucker out I could not tell you in the pouch. That's all I know about it. Okay. Uh, she rang in as a dime. It's not a dime, but it's definitely proof that there was a home out here somewhere. A little set of wheels there and part of a car. So awesome stuff. First toy off of this lot. We'll uh, check that out a little closer later and see if we can find out more. All right. In the pouch with this one. I'm swinging on. That's no penny. <laughs> All right, one more piece down. A lot of area to cover here. I could see bringing Glenn and Wayne out here. Definitely, there's just so much area. There's no way one person could ever cover it all. All right, well, got something interesting here. It was upside down and just the bottom was showing like that so it's got a bulldog on it and it starts with zero up by my finger and goes around to 90 could this have been part of a safe that is the big question I don't see any other brands on it or markings but um that sure looks like a safe dial to me let me know what you think down in the comments 
All right, I only had to brush around in the dirt a little bit for this one, not deep at all. Definitely a, another zinc penny. Well, I don't know, it could be copper. Seems to be holding up pretty well, but um, yeah, we'll look at that closer in the wrap up. Either way, another coin in the pouch. Always a happy rat. All right, been a skinny minute since I got anything good, but down there under these little light roots and stuff, just pulled another penny. I believe this one's a zinc. Let's see if we can uh, spot a year on this bad boy. All right, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. 83, missed copper by one year. So that is the very first year of zinc pennies right there. Someday, someone could find one in this condition and absolutely freak out with happiness. And I mean, I'm glad to have it right now. That's an awesome find. In the pouch it goes. I'll be swinging on some more. All right, we got about four inches away from that last penny. This one was ringing up as a dime. I think this may be copper. 1980. Very cool. Very cool. All right. In the pouch with that one. <laughs> I will see you at the next hole. Yep. Another one close by. I don't know if we'll get a year off of this one. Looks like an 86. All right. In the pouch she goes. All right. I just came from over there. I was cutting across the field to get back to the truck. I wasn't even really swinging, but I caught a high tone, and then boom, down about five and a half inches. Looks like Park Rat got him another quarter on the day. It's an eagle back. That's cool. What year is this one? 71. Oh, man, that is super sweet. Really love that. All right. In the pouch it goes. Let me get a drink. Alrighty, I am back out working the green field area here out in the hot blazing sun. Great signal down there. About five and a half inches in. Nice chunk of brass. Somebody out this way kindly owned a compressor. That is pretty cool. Alright, happy to throw that one in the scrap bucket. I'll see you at the next target. Well, not too far from where I found that uh, hose end there for the air compressor. I got a great quarter signal down here flipped out and boom something shiny right there let's check that out oh nice 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 that is cool absolutely cool handle off of a, a faucet for like a shower or something this one's got a blue dot so it was probably the cold side yep that is an awesome little chunk of metal right there Love that. Okay, my shiny on the day. Let's keep swinging. Okay, first one I found was way over there, and it said prom girl. Just found one down in this hole, and it says cornwell. I don't know if these are types of plants, types of roses. Uh, I don't know what they're for. If anybody's got a clue, let me know down in the comments. I sure would appreciate the free education. All right, I'm going to swing on some more. Okay, I'm about three feet from that last little tag I found at Cornwell, Cornwall, whatever it said. I just flipped out this plug on a penny signal, and sitting right there in the bottom of the plug, I can see I got another kind of tag here. Can't tell. ASA 105? Is that what that actually says? Asato 54? Asato. Yep. So I don't know what Asato 54 means either. But it's a mystery. Hope you all can help me solve it. I'm going to keep looking for those signals. Well, these next couple targets sounded good, but oh well. <laughs> Ended up with an old bottle lid of some type and uh, just a chunk of scrap metal there. Alrighty. Whoo, lordy, lordy, it's hot out here. I'm going to swing on for a little bit more, but then I'm going to have to call it a day. I got to get ready for a camping trip. 
Okay, been getting lots of can slaw. Finally got something I had to chase down here. Got me another penny. I do believe this one's a copper. I just can't make out the date right now, but happy to be throwing that one in the pouch. I hope you all have been enjoying the day. I'm going to work back to the truck here and uh, try to wrap this up because, whoo, I am burning up. Well, here's something cool. Ringing up is a shallow penny. It was fairly shallow, but uh, turns out this is going to be part of a part of a hose end. I like that. Get that stuff out. Nice old brass right there. Gotta love it. Add that to the to the scrap bucket and turn it into cash later on. All right. All right, everybody. It is wrap up time. This was a fun day for me. A little bit of trash and stuff. Some unexplained things there. Definitely signs of life going on around. A couple nice pieces of brass right there. This is from some type of air hose. This may be from something simpler. Similar. We got a uh, handle from like a shower or a tub. Old timey. Probably 50s or 60s there. Uh, that's cool. One chunk of lead. Another good chunk of brass right there for the uh, scrap pile. We got these three mystery tags. One says Asado 54. This one says Prom Girl. And this one says Cornwell. If anybody knows what those mean, say so down in the comments. I'd like to know more about them. I got this toy car. All I know about it is it's from 1995. I couldn't really make out the maker on that. And I just dropped the wheels somewhere. <laughs> there they are. Alrighty. So that was cool find. Um, this dial appears to be from the front of a safe. I uh, couldn't tell you what the brand is. But that's their logo. So very cool find there. And I got 50, 60, 70. I got 81 cents. Two quarters. Two dimes. 11 pennies. This one being the coolest penny I have ever found. 1979 Copper Lincoln Memorial with a bullet hole going through it. Now that is bad to the bone. That is probably the coolest penny I have ever found. Love that. All right. Hope you all enjoyed the adventure. Please like, share, subscribe. God bless. And never ever forget you are only one hole away from a really good day.